Hey folks, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, I surely appreciate your support. Like I always say, I build these I build these videos, guys, for like-minded folks just like you and I to uh, try to help us all get there to the finish line, more proficient and more uh, spot-on quicker so we don't have to back backtrack and, and redo things, right? So uh, I do appreciate you tuning in. I am out on a project today here in central Kentucky. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this uh, this uh, content, guys. Help everybody out that you can reach. This is a perfect topic. Today's topic is just that. Circulation. Let's talk about how to promote circulation around your farm. And by circulation, I mean how to move bucks around your property more proficiently. And why does that pertain right now to this time of the year? Because you have an, opp have an opportunity to build it. So one of the questions I'm always asked, guys, is this. I'm always asked, should I expose what I'm doing on my property to the neighbors? Well, that's kind of an open-ended topic, right? In the, in the perfect world, we would prefer that everybody was on the same page. You know as well as I do, sometimes that doesn't happen, right? So um, as far as maybe your management, you know, uh, tactics, tactics are different, ideas are different, and that's fine to each his own, right? Maybe it's a, uh, you know, there's just a conflict of interest, other interest um, between you and your neighbors. The best properties, the properties that excel are the ones that can overlook those hurdles because uh, most of the time if you own the property and you're, you know, building it and you're tuning into this channel, you're probably tuning into this channel to, to learn how to better the hunting, right? So it all ties together. In order to, in order to benefit or, or better the hunting, it has to be a team effort, a team effort, not only on your property, but your surrounding area. So I answer that a lot of times with Lord willing. Uh, yes, you can, you can do that and you can, you should promote that to your neighbors. And why is that? Today's video guys, we're going to talk about, like I said, circulation and circulation is this moving, moving deer 360 degrees around your property efficiently, the cruising buck. So you can hunt early season all the way through, especially the cruising period. And you can move those bucks around your property securely. They are more proficient on their feet. But what we're doing is, you always hear me say this, guys, is we're building a property that when you hunt that spot, when you're able to hunt a spot, there's a reason for him to be there. So often, uh, so often I get to properties, I'm dealing, on, I'm dealing with multiple of those this year. Uh, that clients have had somebody else, you know, design, and it's not that it's not a, a good design, you know, it's not that it's not a good idea. The, pro the problem with it is, guys, it's fragmented, and when it's fragmented, nothing connects. That's why, you know, that's why I emphasize so much on my transition, but a transition just can't be anywhere you want it. The transition has to make sense. Example is exactly what I'm doing on today's uh, property here in central Kentucky. This uh, ribbon that you see behind me, guys, actually falls right on the contour line. That is my licking branch. Now, right up behind it, on that bur oak up there, you'll see the orange ribbon is the stand. Access from above into it. This is a AM situation. That stand is AM. Same licking branch with an opportunity to have a PM sit, which is in that cedar right down there, on that orange ribbon. One spot one licking branch, two huntable spots. You can't find these unless you dissect that, unless you promote that line of travel that's already there. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. The Lord is the one that gave us that contour line. The deer are using it, we're just promoting it. So, can you cheat it? Yes, you can move it up and down. Uh, anytime, I try, you know, anytime I have to cheat it because of a stand location or an access issue into a stand, I always reach right back out to it, guys, and get there just as quick as I can. So. As I'm talking to you, I'm gonna show you right behind. Perfect example is right there, guys. That big old rub you can see in the background. And I'll walk you here closer to it. 
uh, that falls right on that contour line. So when this ties into today's video as far as, as having, you know, bucks that are proficient on their feet. Let me flip you around. This is a perfect reason. Contour line. Their, their natural movement. And you can see what's already here. This is one of probably, no exaggeration, I mean, this is probably one rub of probably 25 between here and 200, the, the other stand at about 200 yards. You can see the trail goes right up, right around on that contour line, 200 yards down there is the next stand. The more property that you can get in an area that you can spin more deer around, 360 degrees around those properties, one, they're going to be there longer, right? Two, when you build it, if you build it correctly, you're building better habita habitat. If you build better habitat, guys, the, there you have more reason for bucks to be there longer, taking advantage or trying to dissect that. Now, we're not talking about one buck. We're talking about multiple. The property that I'm standing on right now, guys, has had, uh, that I know of, four or five different shooters on it this year. You know, four and a half and older uh, deer. And uh, this section of it's 97 acres. So, um, so yes, the more, excuse me, the more contour that you have allows more of this, right? But at the end of the day, better habitat is what allows it. So, is it is it a deal breaker if you don't have contour? Absolutely not. Is it a huge plus if you do? Absolutely, because there's a, a you know a spot here. Go around the corner where I'm heading right here on this contour line, 50 yards up from where I'm at right here. You're in a different world, right? You walk around the corner and it's just like, it's just, it's, there's so many places that contour allows you to hide deer and create that flat ground doesn't. How we reach those same, some, same levels of success or opportunity is, is by making the habitat correct. So in other words, guys, maybe this will resonate with you or not. And I, I you, this usually does with my clients. One thing to one thing to look at is if you're watching this and you this season after after your you know your huntable season and you had a buck slot in you know and you get a picture of him at one licking branch uh, and maybe you know you, you are using them maybe you're not but at one location stand location let's say and then the next day you get a picture of him or two three days later you get a picture of him then you get a p.m. picture of him instead of an a.m. and then you start trying to piece the puzzle direct together right that's how i hunted for years what i'm gonna do for you guys is i'm gonna do this when that property's done after we design it and we build it you build it i build it whoever builds it right when that buck slots in from one of those bleeders or one of those contour lines or the neighbor's property whatever the case is we're gonna get four or five pictures of him hopefully in a row four five maybe six pictures moral of the story is this guys he's huntable at that point right he's huntable if he's exposing himself at those stand locations or licking branches more often if he's there more frequent now he's now he's huntable because he's he's played his cards and we get him a, uh you know a picture of him on stand one two three and then all of a sudden we get him at seven and eight what that tells us is there's a contour line that broke that chain or the habitat's not as strong in that area and he went somewhere else to dissect it for a better better wind for him and then he got back on it in the areas that you've promoted or better habitat. So what that tells us is that's your projects this time of the year. You go on that spot, and, it, and especially if he's not the only one doing it, you, and, and immature deer as well, immature bucks as well, you go in between, you know, that missing link, let's say it stops at three, picks back up at six, right? You go between those three stands and you figure out what the missing link is and you create better habitat, you know, such as I do with my habitat pockets to to connect that daisy chain and and connect that circulation so in, a, in the uh the uh moral of the story is this right and roundabout way is this with some education i'll hopefully tie it into that for you moral of the story is this guys if you do that on your property and then 80 is doing it next to you and then and there's a 60 and then there's a 40 and then there's a 300 that's all tied into that area guys you have taken maybe five minutes on your property and and we've tripled it so now we're dealing with a half hour it doesn't seem like a lot to a lot of people right but it's three times four times the amount of time that he was on your property before you know the way you had it before uh so you do that on your property you do that on the next now all of a sudden if you're in an area that has uh like-minded folks 
maybe it's a you know deal where you know the neighbors and you're all geared to to you know you you want to try to to uh, you know kill the, the oldest deer in the neighborhood you have a have an opportunity to slot those deer onto the next age structure perfect world right not a lot of people get to experience that but boy guys if you can latch onto that and uh, thank the good lord that you have the opportunity and you're in a part of the country such as i am in in central kentucky at the farm and you know like this farm here is another one um you know say your you know blessings because country blessings because it doesn't happen around the country treat that very kindly and that's how you take a good area and you make it better all by circulation around your property around your area in your area now you're always going to have someone that doesn't play with the you know the play by the rules let's say don't be that guy don't call them and and uh, you know don't start the you know you shouldn't have shot this you shouldn't have shot this promote them guys because when they see if you're as you know uh you know strong on on your beliefs on what you want to do when they start seeing that success multiple times over and over and over throughout the years guys they'll jump on board because what that tells them is there's better deer there uh there is an opportunity to shoot more mature deer so it all works hand in hand guys but that's how that's what you can do this time of the year the year uh by having that potential by circulating those deer more uh, you know around your property so if you have that opportunity and you can you know tap into that resource um, now you have the opportunity to like I said to open the door and advance the property advance the whole neighborhood everybody wins right so um, kind of a you know a little heartfelt message here I guess for you is is I've been in those shoes guys I've been in those areas around the country that that doesn't happen a lot but man if you can expose it and you can make it happen by all means, go the extra mile and, and be that neighbor. Maybe that starts that, you know, get everybody together, like I said. Um, but don't let it deter you if, you know, if it doesn't happen. You're, the, the object is is, is uh, to, to make it better, make it, un, you know, unpressured so your property has better habitat, your neighbors have better habitat, and if they, you know, what they choose to hunt is up to them. What they choose to shoot is up to them. But if there's better habitat in your area, more places for a, a buck to dissect longer he's going to be there longer which is going to bring more deer to the plate longer which is going to be able to when you slot a buck out slide another one in quicker uh it all ties together so better habitat throughout the entire community and circulating bucks around that area is how you take your property to the next level thanks guys